What's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back today with a brand new car duplication glitch. Guys, thanks to uh, BMXer, 300ZX, and True GTA 5, we have a brand new glitch. We can finally duplicate our retros again. You can still do, you know, the Sultan RS or any Bandy's vehicle if you want, but what we've all been waiting for is the retro duplication glitch, and we finally got it back. Now, I'm going to go over the requirements for this glitch. You're going to want to throw yourself in an invite-only session, and you do need one friend to help you out with this. Uh, but you don't need him for very long and it's a pretty easy process once you get it down you know and we've kind of started to perfect it uh, I will come out with a later video on how to really streamline it but this is just following the exact directions that were given uh, yeah and both of you guys need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage so both players both need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage uh, you if you're duping the car if you want to get the dupe you need your CEO office with a mod shop and you need empty spaces in one of your garages Anyone, it doesn't matter. You just got to have some empty spaces. Along with an RH8 in your MOC, if you want to dupe a car, you need an RH8 inside your MOC. And you want to park your retro custom like you see right here in the video. You want to park your retro custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're trying to dupe outside. Okay? And your helper needs a car stored inside his MOC as well. All right, and those are basically the requirements. We're going to be using the friend's MOC to actually get glitched out first. Uh, yeah, and guys, I just wanted to remind you that we are on the road to 500 subscribers. We just hit 400 last night. Thank you, guys. I'll be coming out with a video in some time, you know, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, you know, thanking everybody. It's freaking awesome. I have my boy right here, Drift King, here to help me out with this glitch. And, uh, yeah, so let's get started. So, right now, we're all set up. His MOC is parked over here by the CEO garages that spawn point. My retro that I want to do is outside and I just wanted to show you the plate. I have a custom plate on it. You do not need custom plates for this glitch. You do get a fresh plate every time. But I like to dupe with custom plates and I always recommend that you do it. But if you don't got it, you don't got a choice. So now what we're doing is this is his car that he had parked inside the MOC. Now he's going to hop into it. I get into the passenger seat and what he's doing is hitting right D-pad and then pause uh, or the start button. Now for some reason we did this a bunch of times and the very first time it never works. There's like a delay. So look at this, we end up inside the MOC. You don't want to actually drive in the MOC. Your friend wants to be stuck outside. He'll see the lights flash or flicker, you know, the backlights. They'll actually flicker and he'll be on the pause menu and the car won't go in the MOC. The way you know it worked is if you, you know, as the duper are stuck on a black loading screen, which you'll see right here, I'm going to get stuck on the second try. It always works for us on the second try for some reason. So now what he's doing, he's hitting right D-pad and then pause. You see that? We saw his uh, his character uh, on, the on the top of his head, it said pause. That's how you know it did work. And look, now we're stuck in an inf infinite black loading screen. Now in this infinite black loading screen, once you're there for a few seconds, you let your friend know, I'm stuck in there, okay, you can go ahead and proceed with the glitch. Now what he's gonna go do is press start, go to online tab, and then go to creator. From creator, he's gonna press start and then jump into an invite only session. Once he's in the invite only session, what he's gonna do now is actually start up a job could be titan of a job could be a stunt race could be anything like that so he's going to start up a titan of a job in this tutorial and once he gets to the setting screen he's going to let me know now i'm going to go to my xbox dashboard and i'm going to hit join game on him once i get the session details i'm going to let him know and then once i'm at that alert and i let him know i'm at the alert you tell him to go ahead and back out of the job completely and once he spawned back down on the ground you're free to actually accept the invites, okay? So if that was a little bit, you know, too confusing or whatever, I know we're stuck on a black loading screen here, just rewind the video and I'll go over it and, you know, or, or you'll hear it again, but it's very, very simple. We're just joining a job that's not, you know, there anymore because he backs out of it, but he has to go into a new session before he starts that job, okay? And that's what gets us all stuck here. So now that we're at the alert right here, I'm gonna go ahead and accept it and you're gonna accept both alerts. So I accept the first alert, then it's gonna say unable to connect, accept that one and check it out. We spawn right back down next to our car. He's gone in another session, you know, and to make sure he doesn't come back, okay? So now at this point, you can actually quickly do this part. I did it the long ways following the specific directions. Now, what you can do is actually just drive your car that you're trying to dupe, my retro custom right here, I can actually drive that over to uh, to my MOC. Right now, you see I'm gonna request my own mobile operations center. At this point, I wanted to request it to see if it would actually show up right back at that spawn point. But it ends up spawning, you know, a little bit farther down a few blocks away. 
Now, as you can see right there, I'm gonna show you on the map, boom, there it is. And you can drive your retro custom that you're trying to dupe right over to it and go ahead and go inside and proceed with the glitch. But I don't actually do that. In this case, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drive back around and I'm gonna take a streetcar. Now, the this is the long way to do it. The only reason that I'm doing it this way is actually to show you guys this crazy glitched cutscene that you actually get. And this is an extra two or three steps that you do not have to do. It might sound confusing just because I'm telling you you don't have to do what you're seeing on the screen right here, but this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab my MOC and I'm gonna come back and park it over by where his MOC was, okay? And what's gonna happen is when I go to enter it, you're gonna get this crazy glitched cutscene where your MOCs, they actually duplicate. That's the funny thing, you actually get a duplicate MOC, which is the craziest thing I've ever seen. At first I thought it was his MOC that's just all glitched out, but no, it's a freaking duplicate of your own MOC, and it looks freaking nuts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the streetcar over to where my MOC spawned, and I'm gonna pick up the MOC, and like I said, I'm gonna go park it right by over where uh, his was parked. And it doesn't have to be exact. I think in the directions it actually said to go ahead and park it right on top of where the other one was, and that's exactly what I did. So now that we're right here, I've parked my MOC right where his was, and I'm gonna go grab my retro. And I'm gonna just proceed to drive it in there, and it's gonna ask me to transfer vehicles. Remember, I have my, my RH8, the free LG RH8, parked inside the MOC. This is why it's gonna ask me to transfer. So, check it out, I have the virus plate on it, just wanted to show you guys that again. This is where the car duplicates. So hit right on the D-pad, hit transfer, and then it's gonna go in and look at this shit. All of a sudden you're gonna come back and you're gonna get this crazy little cutscene where you just see your, your MOCs just start spawning and going nuts. Uh, you know, back and forth, crashing, go, you know, crazy noises. You're just gonna proceed to kill yourself. Open up your interaction menu and kill yourself, okay? I just wanted to show you guys the whole animation right quick. Uh, and then you see, you end up wasted inside your retro right there. So once you spawn back, you should spawn back with the duplicate. Now it takes over the plate of the RH8, which is why we have that RH8 in there. This is why you don't need custom plates for this glitch. But the car isn't saved. Remember that, you actually have to save the car. But check this out, this is why I wanted to show you guys uh, why you do this. I have a duplicate of my MOC right there. There's actually two of them. I thought that was one of the craziest things. I love, I love new glitches because they bring on new crazy little things that weren't there before. But check this out, look at the plate. 43, you know, VHN, I think that's what that was. Yeah, that's our duplicate right here with a brand new generic plate. So you do not need custom plates for this glitch. Now this is where you need your CEO, office, garage, and the mod shop. Because now we need to go ahead and save it. Now remember, you don't need to drive your MOC back, that whole thing that I did. Just simply take your retro and drive it into the MOC and it'll actually spawn you back where your friend's MOC was, okay? So you could skip all those steps unless you want to see that actual, uh, you know, cutscene. That's all up to you if you want to do it this way. It'll take a little bit longer, but it's a little cool cutscene to see. So I'm taking my car over, my duplicate over to the garage that I have empty spaces at. And remember, you need empty spaces. The garage cannot be full. If the garage is full, it's not going to work. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and get back in the car. Remember, it's not saved yet, so we're going to go into the mod shop. Hit right D-pad to enter mod shop. Now, once you're in the mod shop, you, if you don't have access to custom plates, you can go ahead and just change the color of the plate or respray the car and it'll save. If you do have custom plates like I do, I actually go, you know, the whole nine yards. I change the color of the plate and I actually change the plate itself. So you're just gonna proceed to go back to the office garage where you got it from. And that's simply it, guys. That's your duplicate and that's the save right there. So it's actually saved just like that. You don't need to do anything else to it. Uh, and right now, you would just go ahead and order up another RH8 if you wanted to rinse and repeat. Order up a brand new RH8 and put it in the MOC, and once it's delivered, that's it. You can do the dupe glitch again. You just gotta get your friend back into the session to get you glitched out in the very beginning. So you really only need your friend for the first few steps. So once you're done with your friend right there, you're good unless you want to keep rinsing and repeating. Or you guys can, you know, jump back and forth, and you know, you help him with a car, then he helps you with a car. You know, you can do it that way as well. But. That's the entire glitch, guys. Uh, yeah, if you got any, make sure you rewatch the video. You know, it's a lot of steps. It's a brand new glitch, so you're gonna, you might have some problems. But I hit this first try. It did not. Re as long as you follow the steps that I've given you, and you follow this video down to a T, you will be fine. Okay. So yeah, any questions? Put them down in the comments. 
Like always, it's Roll Easy, and I'm fucking out of here. I had fun doing this glitch. It's nice to finally dupe the retros again, make you know close to a million dollars every time. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe by hitting the big red button if you're new, and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.